Good morning children. Today we are learning the practice worksheet. Practice worksheet number 1. It includes the grammar part of 1 to 6 lessons. A bit. Complete these sentences with the correct nouns from the box. So here we have some of the nouns. You should use that and fill up it. We saw a dash of fish swimming past the coral reef. Collective noun. So among these options, Elsa, school, happiness, bags, coffee and pride. Among these, which one is the collective noun? School. School of fish is a collective noun. So write the answer as school. Second one. Dash saw a tiny bird singing by her window. Proper noun. So you should have a proper noun. Proper noun means the name of the person itself or the name of the object. Dash saw a tiny bird. What's the name of any person or the thing here? So we have the name called Elsa. So the answer is Elsa. Elsa saw a tiny bird. Singing by her window. Third one. Hey, these eyes shone with dash when she woke up in the morning. Abstract noun. Which shows the feeling. Abstract noun shows about a feeling. So among these words, which word express about feelings? Elsa finished. School finished. The things left are happiness, bags, coffee, pride. Happiness is a feeling. Bags is a noun. Coffee doesn't come under abstract noun and pride. Fifth one. So fourth one. We were asked to keep our dash in the cupboard. It is countable noun. So among these. So what are left now? Bags, coffee and pride. The answer is bags. Countable noun, the thing which we can count, that is bags. Now, fifth one. Our coach hoisted the team flag with a lot of dash, abstract noun. So, what is left now? Coffee and pride. So, the answer is pride. Our coach hoisted the team flag with a lot of pride. Sixth one. Would you like to have some dash uncountable noun that is coffee which we cannot count on our fingers. Now coming to the next bit B. Underline the subjects and circle the objects in these sentences. Subjects. Subjects means about whom we are talking. 
and the object what we are doing i painted a portrait for my father so the subjects and the objects about whom we are speaking that is the subject and the thing whatever we are using or the work we are doing is called as an object i painted a portrait for my father i painted i i is the subject and what i what i painted that is portrait so that is a object circle it second one rajat has a beautiful horse who has rajat so this is a subject what is the object what he has he has a horse object third one have you seen this photograph you you is the subject because you are talking to a your opponent you and what you are talking about have you seen this photograph so photograph is the object fourth one the old woman drank a glass of water who is the subject here the old woman what she drank she drank a glass of water water is a object fifth one i bought some vegetables from the market i is a subject and some vegetables is a object so underline the subject i and circle the object some vegetables sixth one miss patricia teaches mathematics who will teach miss patricia is the subject underline it and the object is mathematics seventh one sujoy bought a bag of sand from the playground who bought sujoy sujoy is the subject and a bag of sand is a object so underline sujoy and circle the object hope that everyone understood thank you